Onivia, League of Legends highlights. And that just means that Bartle gets to play whatever he wants because there's only basically been a J span. So, I mean, I suppose the Renekton as well, as you very nicely pointed out. So he will go for the Akali as the counter in the top lane. Well, they did. And he didn't say that, but he also said, like, I haven't played this champion in a year, but it's pretty easy. Okay, Lava is in the event horizon and knocked into the side. Lava's like, wait, what is this interaction? <laughs> We've talked about how this can work a lot of the time. Here to the Rift Heralds. Showmaker will join up. Can he get the stun onto this one? The handshake puts it away, and look at this trade in the top side. Fertile is almost dead, but the Shuriken might get him out of range. The flash, though, is enough. Morgan sets it down, picks up the solo kill. But the Rift Herald does not crash, as you pointed out. Showmaker's teleport being worth its weight here in cooldowns, I guess, is umpty. Okay, he is going to kick the Vagar, but at what cost? As now he will get ulted and Canyon will just swipe for the kill. I mean, you can't have your cake on early to mid game focus composition. And they knew Canyon was there too. I mean, they saw him fighting the Rift Herald, so it should not have been. And they are going to get this turret in the bottom side with the Crescendum yeah. Aphelia, so that's their tree. So Crescendum's up, they get a whole turret for this. And Damwon Kia, very likely not going to be so lucky. Lava. Oh, he didn't go for the Spirit Rush, and that means you die. Yeah, well, I guess they will be so lucky, in fact. He also had turret. Flash. He had Flash. He didn't Spirit Rush fast enough. That's what I was talking about earlier. Like, if you don't Spirit Rush the early part of that, like, you're stuck in there and you die. And now this Rift Herald gets a second charge. So what could have been a trade up for a full turret for half a turret ends up being, uh, you know, one point. time. So again, another champion, though, that's that's kind of countered by the Event Horizon. So. We'll have to wait and see how they play around that as Dalmon Kia just waiting. Do have Canyon in the pit looking for the steal. He's not going to get it as the Lee Sin does get it, but a huge handshake makes the two of them come in. The Berserk ultimate as well as the ultimate comes in now from Canyon. Bertle trying to get some value in the back line, doesn't get much. And Fred Apriyam is Fred Apriyam making an aggressive maneuver up to the top side now as Showmaker underneath this turret is happy, but goes in is Canyon and he's not in the best spot as he will get bailed out and finally will go down. Means the kill goes over to Umpty here, not the end of the world. Definitely would have liked to have it onto Henna, but either way, this should be the turret as well, going over to Freddy Brion, so a successful play here. And you could tell there was a split, actually. The event horizon goes down onto Henna, but Showmaker actually, so we're gonna see another one here. The slow okay, the kick. In, and the kick and the turn is all you need, a couple of things, but the Zaya Duck Bomb is having some fun. Can he get anything back here? Showmaker the only one with the kill. Morgan is almost here too. And with the solar flare, will survive. Yeah, but that's really important. The timing he has to back here on is Damwon Kia make an aggressive play deep in the jungle before they can come over and contest this Drake. Now Lava is getting a top push done and he does get to pick up a bunch of gold here. But Damwon Kia essentially went out harder because yes, gold is given over to this Ari on the top side of the map. Some CS is deleted but this slows down the game. And the, you know, expiration date on Morgan auction over. How much does he get away with here? He has his own teleport. Uh-oh, Showmaker, have you overstepped your bounds? The answer seems to be no. A huge solar flare, though, as they're gonna get ducked all on the back of that. And yes, Showmaker trades up, but now you lost your 80 carry. Damwon Kia are kind of in this awkward spot. The Drake wasn't taken, but if they give up control of this Baron, Fred Brian will have the choke point control. And Event Horizon's not going to be that good on the offensive, so that's why they're going to stick on this Baron for now. They're doing it. They are currently doing the Baron, and Fred Brian, they're just waiting for the blue trinket, calling that out, and they will continue. There's the kick, though, on to Burrow. If he gets it down, and the rest of Damwon Kia are only the four. Oh, and look at the Baron, it's still East. It's still East, that should be a Baron for Freddit. Fred and Freon get it, they're in the pit. Canyon cannot get in, and Morgan is zoning the ball out. Canyon gets in desperately. And look at the light, he's trapping them in. It's a huge flank that comes in. That's going to be another kill on top of the Aphelios. This might just be a total ace, as Zumpty is chasing out the Showmaker. Duck Tom has nowhere to go. That is going to be unlimited sand in the hourglass if we're keeping up with that metaphor. Showmaker's down too. Wow. A full ace here off of Umpty's execution of Bertle. 
goes for the flash kick play. They get vision of the Akali, punish him, and then turn that 5v4 into their fight. Event Horizon isn't uh, the ultimate tool to keep you in this game forever. They have and they're going to push to end with a Baron buff. They have the Baron. It's 30 minutes. It's still 10 seconds for Canyon. They're going to try to end it here, Wolf. Oh, they've got a wave here. See if they can end this. It's going to be tough, but no AD carry. Oh. No flash, no charm comes in. Bertle's trying to stop the wave, but he's not able to do it. But here comes a huge berserk. They're going to try to get a lot of time and value out of this, and they will. Damakia just trying to put his name on that list. As push mid here with the super minions is starting to stack up here. 12 seconds left on this buff. Solar Flare's out. Morgan has a really nice angle here, and those super minions are going to start stacking up on the one remaining Nexus turret, so this should be inhibitor turret going down. Uh oh, Hannah. That's a little bit scary, but a gigantic Moonlight Vigil. Okay. He said, trust me, Valdez. It's not scary anymore, actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like a kid's movie. They can push the end. I think they could push the end this one, Valdez. They've just got too many minions here. Super minion already on this turret. They have run out of Baron, but it might not matter. There's just not too many defenses here. Still a very nice defensive comp, but Dominator's so far Behind. Showmaker, if he uses his event horizon, they press the go button. Canyon. Okay. Speaking of pressing the go button, Canyon goes in there, but look at Morgan just stepping up to them. The Berserk comes out and a huge play caller, though. They are holding on here just barely as now Canyon and Bertle chasing them down. They take down Umpty. And up starting to step up to them, but Showmaker gonna ult him, takes down the GA. Lava looking for Canyon. And the time. W is not. should not try to fight for this, I don't think. If they end up getting delayed, all it takes is one teleport with those minions coming through. Bertle's not here. Bertle's not here, Umpty's looking for it. They're trying to get it, and Canyon is in their base, and Umpty goes down immediately, just like that. Just one blade caller, one handshake. They actually do this right now. They have Canyon nearby, they can smite this down, and they defended long enough. They rotated over, that pick was so- This game comes along no for on No ward on the choke here. I think Morgan wants to put one if he's got one. I don't think he does. He's got a sweeper. It does not have control wards. They're gonna hide in this brush though. They know there's no vision. Charm is- oh, Charm is down. They wanna engage now when the charm is down. Canyon gets the flank. The event horizon not getting too much value, but the damage is there onto the light and Bertle gets charmed in the backside, but he's buying time. He will still go down though. And that flank, wasn't it from Bertle? Yeah. Dom and Kia start to take these neutral oh, fights. Oh man, they knew. Lava. They knew. They had a ward in that one, and Doc Tom reads into it and does not get hit by the charm. Okay, once again, they're going to start this up. Again, Dom and Kia's comp does not attack well. It defends objectives extremely well, but to walk into this, you're so reliant on Canyon's ult, and it's so one, it's so predictable. They gotta go. They gotta pull the trigger. Canyon's in here. He's got an entry. He goes in. How's the smite? It goes to Umpty. Umpty picks it up. The fear isn't great, but now Showmaker's huge. The Blake Caller's huge, but is it enough? Freda flashes forward. Lava flashes forward. Freda Breon will take the fight. Freda Breon take the fight. They take the ban, and they're going to take game one in a must-win series. Bertle trying desperately to buy time. It's 1v5, but he will go down. That's the ace. Unbelievable performance here from Freda Breon. This could be the beginning of what is one of the most important upsets that you will see in LCK history if they can close this series out. Their composition looked like it was falling apart, looked like it was losing steam, and then one great call from Umpty and Baron after Baron, base control and controlling objectives around Vision, the name of the game. 24 stacks of the Bajais that Lava holds as the Nexus Whoa. falls. Umpty, we need you to be healthy for this one. Don't